Good morning, guys. How the heck are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. Where else? Well, besides Brand Rocket and After Five and not Pro Crates. Yeah, I do a lot. Just kidding. Well, no, I do, but just try to mix up my intro, but it turned into me just acting weird. Anyway, guys, how are you? It is Friday, December 5th, 2014, just in case we ever want to look back on this day. It snowed like a mother. I'm kidding. We've yet to get any kind of significant snowfall here in South Jersey. North Jersey got some pretty good snow, I think, like, last week? Or two weeks ago? Anyway. I'm gonna make some coffee because I need coffee. Today's top priority, shout out to Mary. Mary has been enabling my coffee addiction even more because I've been drinking these all week. Nantucket breakfast blend, oh, wait, Nantucket blend from Green Mountain Coffee, which I've had before. But she was nice enough to give me a whole box for um, an early Christmas gift. Anyway, yes, today's top priority. Oh, hello, Mr. Squirrel is to edit my Christmas wishes video for 2014. Yes, it's happening. I recorded it yesterday, and actually my patrons probably already saw it by the time this video comes out. But for everyone else, the video will be live on Tuesday. Imagine a world without coffee. Wouldn't that suck? Yeah, it would. So last night on Netflix, I was watching a random Christmas movie. I've been in a huge Christmas movie mood lately. I'm trying to watch as many Christmas movies as possible. So I watched a movie called A Christmas Angel. It was one of those like TV Christmas movies. I don't think it was ABC Family, but it felt like an ABC Family movie. It was good for what it was. The little girl, she she was a pretty good actress for how for how young she is. So I'm predicting that she'll actually be someone someday. Speaking of very good, does this not look awesome? Shout out to David Banther and his family business, Banther Consulting. They have once again for the third time in a row sent me my annual Christmas wreath. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And yep, I've been spraying it regularly. Keep my bush fresh. Just spraying my bush. That's kind of what it is. It's like a rounded bush with no middle. I don't know. Hey, it's a wreath. I like wreaths. And I recently went food shopping. Look how organized I am, guys. It's so freaking clean. I love it. Last night I had spaghetti meatballs with Texas toast. If you care. Just trying to keep this intro interesting. Yes, yeah, so I love me some pasta. Sugar time! That song makes you think of The Office. Dwight and Angela in one of their earlier Christmas episodes where she's kind of singing and Dwight's like, bum, 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 bum. Anyway, my Office fans out there know what I'm, refer what I'm referring to. Anytime I mess up my speech, I always make a turkey noise. Just so I know to not do that again. No, I just like to make random noises. It's what I do. That's a rare sight. I don't know, I just felt like putting my Mac Pro to sleep last night. You know, just to give it a rest. Let's get some lightage in here. Turn off blue smurf mode. Commence! Mac Pro, wake up. Let's get some work done, guys. Let's edit that wishless video. Let's make it the best one ever. Because you've been watching my Christmas... Countdown to Christmas, there I go again. My Countdown to Christmas 2014 series then you'll know by now that I was dressed as Santa Claus. Yes, guys, I was not kidding when I said that I wanted this to be the best Christmas yet on YouTube, and I'm making that a, an awesome goal of mine. So stay tuned. I'm still kind of just getting started. There's a lot of content to come. FB tips, and you can sign up to get All right, Amy. Chill, yo. You're great, though. You're great. Alright, so last night, for the first time ever, I finally played Injustice, Gods Among Us, Ultimate Edition, for the PlayStation 4. Because it's free 
for PlayStation Plus users, which is awesome. I just really enjoyed it because I'm not typically like a superhero geek or anything like that. I mean, I appreciate like Spider-Man and Superman and Batman and all them. But guys, I'm telling you, half of the characters in this game, I never even heard of. I didn't even know Shazam was a thing. When I think of Shazam, I think of that movie that Shaq played in. But I guess that's proof that I don't really know the minor superheroes, I should call them. I mean, obviously I've heard of all the major ones, including uh, Catwoman and all them. But the game is really good. It's basically like Mortal Kombat, but with superheroes. And they have interactive environments. They have these superhero moves. It's just really cool, especially Batman when the Batmobile comes through and wipes out the enemy. So freaking cool. Notice I get up to walk around when I vlog. I don't know. I think I'm just better at vlogging that way. But okay. Finally time to get some work done. I had to reorder some gifts for my mom on Amazon. Okay, I'll tell you guys real quick in case you're not following me on Twitter or Facebook. So, this past Monday, I was supposed to have four gifts arrive for Wawa Mama. Yeah, this past Monday from Amazon, and that's saying a lot because Amazon is usually on time with, with, with all my stuff. Um, today's Friday. Yesterday was Thursday. That's how the weeks typically work. So I finally emailed them. I'm like, look, these items are Christmas gifts. They were supposed to be here on Monday. They've been sent. They have been sitting in the Trenton, New Jersey warehouse for uh, like almost a whole week now. And I'm wondering what the deal is. So Amazon gave me a refund. They asked me to reorder the items and go for overnight shipping. And they'll actually cover the cost of um, overnight shipping. How cool is that? Isn't that, I, I just thought that was really, really freaking awesome. So Amazon, bravo. That was a bump, not a punch. Check out the dramatic difference that color grading makes. All right, there's my raw clip. Boom. Boom. A lot more Christmassy, isn't it? Look at that. That's too red. Put some filters and color grading on. Bam. So much better. And this one is 17 minutes long. I'm not sure if that's my longest one yet. I think I had a Christmas wish list at 18 minutes. I'm not totally sure. But speaking of Christmas, let me give a shout out before I forget because I tend to forget things. Huge, huge, Huge shout out to Wendy Gale from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. She has her own shop on Etsy and she sent me all of this. You are not going to believe this. Look at this. Wendy sent me three little gingerbread houses. Aren't they awesome? And they smell amazing. But best of all, and I'm giving this to Wawa Mama so she can use it as a decoration. Pick it up without dropping it. Isn't that beautiful? That is just insane. That is a beautiful work of art. So Wendy, extremely well done. I mean, it smells incredible and looks incredible. I just can't believe the gifts that I received from you guys. So thank you so much. And of course, to show Wendy my thanks, I will be linking her Etsy shop right below. But that's not it. Shout out to Nicole. I'm gonna go in my bedroom because I put it in there for now with all my other GoPro things. Tripping over my space heater. Nicole was nice enough to send me this. God, my bedroom, guys, look at this. My bedroom is a catastrophe right now. It's just, it looks like something blew up in here. She sent me, okay, Go Knuckles. Let me give you a quick demonstration. So basically, Go Knuckles is a device that you attach to your GoPro. I don't have my GoPro enclosure with me right now, so I'm not gonna give you guys like, you know, like a full on demonstration, but just pretend the GoPro's on top. And I kinda did a test walk around. Crap, I just took the sticker off by accident. No! I took it, I'll put it right back on. Anyway, you kinda hold it like this, and the GoPro naturally rests up top. Isn't that awesome? So you put your fingers through the holes, and they sit on your knuckles, hence the name. What's it called, Go Knuckles? Yeah, Go Knuckles. And you can stabilize your GoPro footage by doing this instead of holding the GoPro like a brick. Isn't that awesome? It's the simplest ideas that I think are the best. It's just very cool, that's all. Look at this. And it feels so natural because the way it, 
ergonomically uh, fits with your hand. So thank you again, Nicole. I really appreciate it. And I'll definitely test it out with my next GoPro vlog. But I just want to use my camcorder uh, today so I can show you guys my Christmas decorations. Because the GoPro doesn't do a very good job at that. It's kind of like desaturated. Yeah, but anyway, Nicole, thank you. Let me put my gingerbread houses back. This is just incredible. I cannot believe I have so many talented viewers. It's just simply awesome, guys. It really is. It's simply awesome. Best Christmas ever. And also, speaking of GoPro earlier, a couple weeks ago I did a GoPro vlog, my first one ever in 60 frames per second. I asked you guys what's different while I was waving because I wanted to see if you guys would switch over to 60 frames per second because it looks incredible. Uh, but a lot of you completely missed the point. So many people said that it's different because I'm using the GoPro. I guess people didn't watch those vlogs or whatever, but I've used the GoPro many times a vlog. So I think people were confused. Either that or maybe those people were new to my channel. But regardless, it doesn't hurt to try. But for those who said it was 60 frames per second, you are correct. Here's your cookie. Maui. No, we gotta stay over there. He's just excited about the cat food that just came in from Amazon. Yep, I ordered my cat food from Amazon now. I have been for a few months. Love it. And it's cheap. Amazon Prime for the win. And two Christmas gifts just came in. One for Kristen and one for my dad. I would show you guys, but obviously I don't want to risk them seeing it or someone saying, Oh, look, TV got you this. Because believe it or not, there are people out there who like to spoil the fun for everyone. I don't know why, so you gotta be safe. Anyway, check it out. Wish background. Do you recognize this? I love it. Yes, it's the same song I use every single year. It's called Wish Background. So if you go to incompetech.com, I'll link you guys right below, search for Wish Background and you can use that as well. It's royalty free, so that's always good. And it's a great song. I use it every year. Never gets old. Makes you want to sleep too. Oh, Christmas tree. Do, 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 do. I love Christmas music, guys. I do. do, 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 do. <laughs> now he's like, now I definitely don't want to come in here. Christmas makes me hyper and hungry. It's two o'clock. I haven't had lunch yet, but I think I'm going to record this. It's while I have good natural light over in the sunroom. Countdown to Christmas 2014, day five? Yeah, sometimes I forget the date. Uploading. Woot. Speaking of uploading, I just uploaded my unboxing of Try the World Special Holiday Edition, which I think was pretty cool, especially because it included chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate? And I even designed a sexy thumbnail. This is why brands probably love working with me. I say probably, because not every brand's gonna love working with me. But seriously, look at this, try the world. I went above and beyond to create an awesome looking thumbnail for the holidays. Snowflakes, nice font, your logo, nice picture of your product. Hey, I try. And I succeed. Well, I hope. Get up and have some lunch. Problem is, what do I want for lunch? Even though I just went food shopping, I don't know what I want or what I even feel like. Grilled cheese and tomato soup? Maybe. The thing is, I love grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's one of my favorite food combinations ever since I was a kid. Actually, it was my favorite meal in high school. Cause let's face it, lunchtime at, in school wasn't always the best time. I mean, it was the best time of the day cause you got to chill with your friends and have food, but the food quality wasn't always the best. But grilled cheese was awesome. Cause let's face it, it's pretty hard to screw up grilled cheese. Unless you're an idiot like me who 
Yeah, I I used to suck at grilled cheese, but I have a grilled cheese maker now. Let's get out of here. It's a yellow zone. But the thing is, tomato soup, it leaves like a feeling in me for the rest of the day, like like an acidy feeling, and I hate that. Like you just keep tasting tomato for the, like the next 24 hours or so. But you know what, guys? It's worth it. It's worth it. I know, Mal, I agree. Let's make tomato soup and grilled cheese. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yeah, strike that, reverse it. Willy Wonka reference. Mally's loving his little scratching thing I got him like a couple weeks ago at Walmart. Right, Mau Mau? Yeah. Whoa, David. Whoa, 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 Bessie. It's almost too easy. <laughs> I just, I say things from Californication, then I cut them out of the video. I love it. By the way, my parents finished that last night on Netflix, and they liked it. Unlike Dexter, it was a good ending. Dexter, I will never forget that. Never, ever, ever. How dare you. Still, though, great show. In my opinion, you really can't let a series finale ruin the entire series for you, because it's really, really hard to do a good series finale on a TV show that you've committed so much time to. Unlike a movie where it's usually like an hour and a half, two hours, if it's a bad ending, hey, it's a bad ending, whatever. But if you get a bad ending to a TV show, in my opinion, it's a lot more personal. Because like I said, you put so much time into one show. But thankfully, with services like Netflix, we don't have to take like six, seven, or eight years to get through one show anymore. You can knock out the entire series of Dexter in a month. That's kind of pushing it. Maybe like a couple months because, I don't know, there's people who finish shows in like a week. I, I can't do that. Sometimes I have to get up and do other things. But I am a proud Netflix addict. Oh, that's hot! Now that is what I call a good lunch. Never gets old. And a wild Maui passes by in the background. Maui, you're not going outside. It's cold. You're going to stay in here and appreciate the fact that you have shelter. Good boy. Lunch was a huge success. And now it is time to once again enter the blue zone. And make today's video live. I'm a little late. Better late than never. I really am blue. They're working on something over there. It's pretty loud too. I think I need more coffee. I forgot I unplugged it for my grilled cheese maker. I'm tired today. My lower back hurts because I kind of slept weird. I just took two uh, pain relievers or whatever, so hopefully that does something. This is awesome. Shout out to Zach's Media at ZachWilson.co. This is awesome for two reasons. Number one, Zach Wilson is taking the initiative and building a website about things he's passionate for like, for instance, technology. For instance, it says right here, welcome to Zach's Media. Zach's Media is the main site for his tech blog and gaming blog. So very cool, congratulations, Zach. That's just awesome. And now for the second reason of why this is cool and significant in my opinion, is because Zach is being featured for free just because he signed up using my Bluehost affiliate link. So if you're interested in creating a website, why not sign up using my link? Because look at this you'll be featured for completely free. And let's face it, it's not exactly easy to get free traffic nowadays. So check it out if you're interested. Man, lately I am going through a major cereal phase. I love me some cereal. Lucky Charms. Why? Well, because they're magically delicious. Obviously. So, I just watched that awkward moment on HBO Go. I say so for the people who have seen that movie. You'll understand my reference. Anyway, I really, really enjoyed it. I was excited to check its review on Rotten Tomatoes because I thought it deserved at least like 50 or 60% because as you know, Rotten Tomatoes is kind of critical, as they should be. I don't believe in giving things too positive of a review, especially if you're in that uh, industry as a professional reviewer or whatever. But anyway, 
I checked Rotten Tomatoes, got like a 23%, which is pretty bad. But hey, I loved it, that's all that matters, and I guess that's proof that I have like the opposite opinion of movie critics. Like, a lot of people out there hated the new Godzilla. I freaking loved it. It was so much better than the 1998 version. Anyway, if you're looking for a romantic comedy, and a lot of comedy, it's surprisingly really, really funny, just check out The Awkward Moment, again, on HBO Go. <laughs> My mom texts me. She, she's so bad, just the thing she says. We're corrupted by Californication, let's just say that. And I was just texting my mom, seeing when we're gonna go to the diner because I was killing time by watching a movie. Because it is currently 8.45. I love how my face detection software always picks up Steve Jobs' face. I love that. But, um, so, yeah, anyway, in the meantime, I really love to talk, guys, I do. Let me show you my Christmas decorations, since my GoPro didn't really do it justice last week. There is my Christmas tree, which is very, very nice. And conveniently, Crash Bandicoot just happens to be sitting in the middle. But I think it looks pretty cool there. And way down here on the bottom is my train. I should actually say my dad's train. And then there's the rest of the train. I haven't even finished that part yet. There's my Santa costume that I was wearing. But yes, I think my tree is looking very, very nice. I cannot wait until I paint my walls. I mean, I've lived here for more than two years now. And guys, honestly, it is easily the number one thing I have been procrastinating about. And that's just that, painting my walls. I really need to paint these. I mean, this is a terrible color. I don't know what the previous tenant was on. I mean, it, on in terms of drugs. I mean, what? Who in their right mind would paint a wall this color? Unless it's like a daycare or something like you need like a bright, fun color. But this isn't even really bright. It's kind of like bleh. It's actually very close to my skin tone, according to my camera. So, look, I'm blending in. You can't even see my hand. But seriously, I'm excited to paint this. And this is one solid wall. This isn't like drywall. I don't know what this is. It's strong. So if we ever get hit with a tornado, chances are I'll be fine. But I'll be in, a, in, the, in the basement. Anyway, getting back to my decorations, here is my Charlie Brown Christmas tree. I love this thing so much. Classic. Random stocking with a snowman on it. Santa. My Peanuts clock for my friend Lainey at the diner. Merry Christmas door panel, which, yes, I fully realize is not on a door, but I think it looks great there. Mario stocking. And another Mario stocking right back here behind this door. Shadow action. You know what? This is actually a pretty good sized wall. Look at this. This is a lot of empty space. If I ever want to put like a green screen here or something, then I easily could. And that's one thing I really love. I mean, you know, one of several things because this is definitely my favorite room in the house besides my office. Obviously, that's where all this is made it possible. Anyway, I really like this about my living room. It's so wide open that if I ever wanted to put anything back here, then I could because somebody makes a good point in a past video. I think my living room is so open because you're meant to put like a dining room back here, like a dining room table and chairs and whatever, but it's just me, so I don't need a dining room table. Guys, literally, I eat dinner right here every single night as long as I'm home and I love it because it's just me. Um, and yes, my blanket's there because I like to be warm when I'm watching a movie. A movie! Christmas stuff. More Christmas stuff. Camera bag, because I'm taking that to the diner tonight. What else? What else? Some green garland around the cinema display in iMac. Oh, bacon's down. I gotta fix him. More random Christmas stuff. December calendar from Nintendo Club. Or Club Nintendo, rather. And a little snowman dude. Maui, which is not a Christmas decoration. I know. Meow. Okay, there you go. Good boy. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so cute. Booty, 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 booty. Oh, and obviously I cannot miss this. Let it now. It did say snow, but seriously guys, every single day, Maui takes this down, hence all the cat fur all over it. So, for now, it just says, let it now. Eh, whatever. 
And then going into the kitchen, let me give you guys some light. Little snowman dude, and by little I mean big and fat. Let's plug that in back here in real time. There you go. It's a little g -head but hey, I like it. This is the box the wreath came in. Up here is another little Christmas tree that you guys might recognize from my old bedroom with a train. Happy Holidays, that came with my stocking. Yeah, my stocking, really, David? That came with my wreath. And this is something I guess you use for hot cocoa or whatever. I got it from my Aunt Teresa. It's very nice and heavy. So that's pretty cool. And around the frame of my huge back door, more garland, which oddly just stops right there. And going into my sunroom, rare moment, guys. I don't think you've ever seen his light on. I do have a light here. I don't really talk about it much, but there you go. It does work. And there is my fiber optic Christmas tree, which used to be in my bedroom at my parents' house. And I mainly keep it there so that way people outside can see it. And up here are some lights I put up, but I don't think I'm ever going to plug them in, so I'll probably just take them down. I just didn't really get into the way I was hoping I would, but hey, it's okay. It never hurts to try. At least I have this tree here, which I did not have in here last year, so technically, that's something new. And then, going, by the way, that light looks nice in the sunroom from here, doesn't it? It's like, it has like a nice vibe to it. Oh, it just looks very inviting. So going into my office, by the way, I'm loving having my video game shelf here. Just so much more convenient, and it fills the room nicely. Going into my office, let me turn on the lights, and here are the stockings that you can now see in the background of my videos, at least the ones that I recorded using my T4i. And back here, of course, I cannot forget, this does look a lot better at daytime, but this is my newest Christmas decoration. It was like $20 at Target, or Walmart rather, Walmart, and it's not a bad deal. Maui tries to go after it every single day after, as I walk into my chair, so he's kind of banned from my office as it is. Sorry, Mal. And down there is a Christmas moose or a reindeer. A reindeer would make more sense, so it's most likely a reindeer. Shout out to Famebit. And I think that is it. The office. I don't have too much Christmas stuff, but it's getting better and better each year. Oh, down there is all my wrapping paper, bows, stuff like that. Oh, here's a little Christmas frog dude sitting in my rear right speaker. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it gets better each year. Hey, I'm getting there. And actually, I've been meaning to put like a bow on either the iMac or the cinema display, or both, to kind of make them look like presents. So, I think that would look nice. Maui, just hanging out in the sunroom. This is a really nice room. I mean, look at this. Does that not look inviting? Again, let's just back up here. Doesn't that just make you want to sit down there with a cup of coffee or tea next to you and a book or like your PlayStation Vita or 3DS or anything like that? Hey, it looks inviting to me. And this is one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's just a shame I'm never really in it because it's too cold in the winter. Although sometimes during the day, since it's a sunroom, the room heats up pretty nicely from the sunlight. Hey, Mal. But I will say, this is an excellent room for video content creators like myself because natural light, as you know, nothing beats natural light. I love it. All right, I guess I'm gonna get going soon. My mom said they're gonna be at the diner around 9.15 and it's nine o'clock now and it takes about 10, 15 minutes to get there. So, see you guys at the diner with Whack Attack. Do you like that? Oh yeah, it's a Kia Ultra 1.8 Psycho Cruiser V E P P M T 4 wheel drive R T R. Sorry. R T R stands for rear. Ready to run. Ready to run. I knew that. <laughs> You're not worthy. That's one of the things Chris taught me. I just forgot it. Ah. Chicken quesadilla. Quesadilla. First taste. First taste. Not on camera. Good. Run, 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 run. Okay. What are you, the cookie monster? 
Well, I want more coffee. I didn't drink my second coffee because I, I talked too much. No, is it hot? Yeah, warm. Guys, I brought my Rubik's Cube again. I solved it. But I mixed it up again because I don't want to make you guys jealous. Mm -hmm. No, my coffee's not hot enough. That's my fault, not the diner's fault. I, I kind of talk too much. Go hide it? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the heater's on, and it hurts. Like, it's really, really hot. Yeah. Look at that ice cream. Can you hang mine? It's melting like a mother. Hey, hey, what up, Sully, dude? Well, you, you better start coming to the diner on Friday nights with the DeFranco family. He's a Walmart. You're a Walmart. What? <laughs> yeah, he actually he actually walks walls, walls now. Oh wow, I'm gonna start doing that because I gotta lose some weight too. I gotta lose 20 pounds, whack attack. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Trust oh, me. Oh my god. You ain't no more than like god. 90. Oh my god. <laughs> I have a trust me. Fat on your finger. <laughs> really? <laughs> fat on your finger, really? <laughs> Seriously though, oh you look you look fine. You're crazy. Oh, well, thank you. Although you look a little green today. Oh well, thank you. Cause I'm I ready like for that Christmas. Picture of me. Heck yeah. I like that oh, yeah. picture of me. What is that? Is that you? That whack attack has <laughs> it. Obviously it's you. The other picture is scary looking. Of then there's dad. He's always look quiet, isn't he? I know. I know he's always Oh yeah, you saw work. that? Look at him. Looks like a girl, doesn't Stop he? Doing work. You need to get like a like a girl. Come on now. Uh, I can't tell my customers no. <laughs> Maybe because it's open 20. Check out their Christmas tree. Okay. It's against code, know? but that's okay. Hey, you need that Christmas <laughs> It's a nice tree. I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't care about the law. I love, I love the tree. Like it's Christmas. Let it go, yo. And boom. Just like that, I am home. Awesome, awesome times at the diner tonight. It was so funny. I mean, seriously, there are so many things that happen, like, even off camera that you guys that we'll never even hear or see or like, witness. I'm just saying that because we really do enjoy our Friday nights very much. But I'm sure people like David Banther and Alfred can, uh back up those claims because they have done that with us in the past. And Sully. Sully's been to us, uh, been yeah, been to us. Sully's been to the diner with us on Fridays. A Friday? Two Fridays? I think only been one. Whoa, 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 David. Whoa. Even the camera went out of focus. I got me some more. Look at that. The bag went crazy. I got me some more chocolate milk. I've been going through like a major chocolate milk phase lately. I love me some chocolate milk. It just fills you up. And there's Maui. Hey, Mao. Why don't you join us in the kitchen? Come on. Come on, Mal. <laughs> He's like, the chair rocks. Good boy, Maui. Yeah. He loves that thing, and that really does make me happy. Because it's better than him doing it on the couch or my speakers. Good boy, Mal. You like that? Then he lays down on it. Okay, he's looking at himself. Sensor! Zoom out there, David. Zoom out. So Wawa was cool. I purposely wore this shirt because I know the girl that works there uh, uses Loot Crate because her boyfriend does. That's a big no-no for me. But hey, whatever. Uh, but I purposely wore this shirt. That way I could strike up a conversation easily with her. That's not creepy, is it? That's called planning your day accordingly. Because otherwise, I'm shy, and I really won't start up a conversation myself. So that's good. Thank you, Luke Crate. One shirt and one Friday at a time, we're talking more. Could be a waste of my time, because she's taken. But it never hurts to try. Never hurts to try. Because I will say, it's been a while since I've had a girlfriend, but that's only because I don't go out looking. I'm not exactly a social person when it comes to, like, going to bars and clubs. That's not really my scene. But hey, it is what it is. Good things come in time. Never forget that. Ah, you hear that? I love the sign of rain on this metal sunroom roof. Sounds great. It's even cooler during a thunderstorm. Now that's really cool. I just, <laughs> never mind. I just finished managing a few things on my website, davidfanagle.com slash wishlist. Go there, check it out. If you can't wait for my wishlist video and, and you're not a patron, my wish list is already live. Like the actual wish list, not the video. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah. I'm gonna heat up. Quesadilla! Just one quesadilla. Late night snack, you know me. Then I might play Injustice. No, I'll probably watch another movie. 
I'm I'm in a movie watching mood. I love my movies, guys. I I really do watch a lot of movies, especially Christmas movies lately. I've been watching a lot of Christmas movies, but I think I told you guys that. Anyway, I'm really glad. Why do I feel hyper? I'm 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 a. Uh, I'm really. <laughs> Calm down, David. Calm down. Seriously, stop. I'm glad I started the weekend vlog today on a Friday. Because I found out, hey, Mal, you're freaking out. Because I found out tonight that we are probably getting our Christmas tree, bam, on Sunday. So that means I can wrap up the weekend vlog early on Sunday, then roll right into an actual dedicated Christmas video, like Sunday afternoon or whenever we're getting it. So that's cool. So we have a lot of videos already planned. I have the weekend vlog on Monday, a uh, wishlist video on Tuesday, a review of those candles that I got from King's Homestead in Lancaster, PA. We're going to record that tomorrow at my mom's house, at my mom and dad's house, um, in the sunroom because of all the natural light. It's going to be cool. So that's going up Wednesday. Thursday will most likely be the Christmas tree video. Maybe. Or Friday. Depends how things work out. Point is, expect lots of videos. This is a busy, busy month, but a good busy. Maui, relax. You're freaking out. Maui, why would you want to go outside right now? It's cold, it's wet, and you're in here, a nice, dry, warm house. Although it's actually kind of chilly right now, isn't it? I gotta put the heat back on. You like that huge box? You do. That was a great movie. Wicker Park. It actually came out in 2004. So, yeah, it's been 10 years. The movie does an excellent job. Oh God, I'm tripping over pillows. An excellent job at tying up all these events into one great ending. Because the movie, like, seriously jumps back and forth in the past, present time, past, present time. Past, present time. It actually made me think of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, one of my favorite movies of all time, if you haven't seen it. Because, one, the plot is kind of similar in terms of how they set it up, in terms of um, jumping back and forth. Two, the music. The music sounded oddly similar to um, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I think I'm saying that right. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I'm pretty sure that's the title. Great movie though, great, great movie. And now I'm going to see how it did. First of all, let me Google Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah, that's, that's that movie. Okay, I'm, I was just making sure the title. Wicker Park. Let's see how it did on Rotten Tomatoes. I swear, my opinion is always opposite of Rotten Tomatoes. Not always, but it, it often is, 25%. But the audience score, like people like you and me, regular watchers and viewers or whatever, gave it a 79%. So screw you, movie critics, we win. 25% versus 79%? I mean, it would be a bit more believable if it was like 25% and like 40%, but jumping from 25 to 79, that's a drastic difference. So, we win. Screw the critics. So if you're looking for an interesting movie, Wicker Park, definitely check it out. I enjoyed it very much. And now it is three in the morning. I might play Injustice for a little bit, then go to bed, because I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow. Um, probably like late morning. So, I will see you guys in the morning. Peace be step. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Ties in every store. Even the Apple store. But the prettiest sight to see. Good morning, guys. The holly that How the heck are you? David DeFranco here. Where's the weekend vlog as he vlog? Bato! I'm on my way to the parental's house. And it is very nasty out today. Windy. That's not windy. What am I saying? It's raining. It's cold. Actually, it's really not that cold. It's 50 Fahrenheit. That's not cold for December. I mean, look, I'm not even wearing a jacket. 
It's just very wet outside, which I don't mind, because I'm in a car. But today is a good day to be a duck. So if you're a duck, I hope you enjoyed this day. Seriously. Ducks love water. Duh. Anyway, last night I was up until 5 a.m., almost 5 a.m., mistakenly, because I was playing Injustice, and I found, like, the stars, labs. They're kind of like quick missions, kind of like in Mortal Kombat. So I played through, like, 10 or 12 of those. It's a good game. It's a really good game. I love the super moves. They're so freaking awesome. And, yeah. So I actually... Guys, we're turning around. We're turning around. Priorities. I forgot my advent calendar. Don't be laughing at me, music. I need my advent calendar, guys. I was planning on doing one at my parents' house today to mix things up a bit. Maui's gonna be like, you're home already! Yay! You guys are sliding like a mother. Well, I'm never on this street. This is weird. Christmas decorations. Speaking of... Yep, that's my mom texting me now. That's what I was leaving. Alright guys, I'll be right back. I gotta go back inside and get my event calendar. Where am I? Stop sign. I'm not used to this road. To be fair, that stop sign's hidden behind a truck. That should be against the law. That is a dead end. <laughs> I don't know where I am. Cut me some slack, yo. I don't ever go down this road. This is good Christmas music. I love it. I like the more classy Christmas music, like piano and violin, and this is nice. I wish I could play an instrument. I do play alto saxophone. Well, I played in high school. I haven't played in years. I thought I was going. Yeah, guys, I'll be right back. This is a terrible angle anyway. The exposure sucks. I'm home! Slidage. Hardcore slidage. Alright. Let's try this again. So my plans today are to go to lunch with Wawa Mama, get some bondage going at the Amish market, get some fried chicken, mashed potatoes, whatever else we feel like, go to Wawa after that, then hopefully record my candle review for King's Homestead in Mom and Dad's sunroom. And then I gotta help Mom with a thing on Snapfish. This certain illustration we're using for our Christmas card, I can't spoil it. My mom said to not leak the picture. I'm like, really, Mom? What is this, Apple? First of all, I don't leak pictures. Second of all, there's a different word for that. Just, uh, it, was, it was just funny. Um, but basically, the illustration she wants to use for this year's Christmas card, it doesn't fit the dimensions within Snapchat. Apparently, it gets cut off. So I'm going to find out the exact dimensions that Snapchat uses for Christmas cards or whatever. Drop it into Photoshop, save it as a JPEG, and then we'll just use that. I also have my iPad Mini 3, so I could technically drop it into Pixelmator since it supports custom dimensions. Guys, I'm telling you, Pixelmator for $5 is an insanely powerful image editing app. I've already exported, like, maybe... 12 to 15 pictures it's a very very capable app then sometime at the snapfish or before then sometime today i'll record countdown to christmas 2014 day six i always have to check the date because time is freaking flying so today is a very good day today is going to be a very productive day at least for a saturday and I already uploaded my wishlist video for my patrons, and I designed a custom thumbnail, and for the first time ever, I took a screenshot of my wishlist on my iPad Mini 3, dropped it into an iPad Mini 3 graphic I found on Google Images, then put that in the screen in, in my uh, thumbnail for the video. So I think it looks pretty cool. This is going to be the best YouTube Christmas ever. I can promise you that. Although this means next year the stakes are higher than ever. I'm, guys, I'm setting standards. 
I'm setting standards. I my my windshield's kind of noisy, so I'll see you guys at the Prentzels house or the Amish market, whatever comes first. Hunter Pants, how the heck are you? Yeah, look at that booty, 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 booty. And Jamian, looking beautiful as ever. You are so freaking cute. Jingle jangle. And there's Shane. Shane, dear Lord, you are a creature. Let's just say that. A cute creature though, and a very good creature. You're so cute. Look at you. Look at you. Shane. And there's Fireball. Look how big he's getting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still playful like a kitten. I love it. F ball. I'm just waiting for mom to come out from the basement. I've, I've uh, been here for about at least an hour. Yeah. He's kind of chilling. It's very blue in here. Jumpy. Hi, Ma. Jumpy. Over here. Over her. Over her. Over her? Come here. Over her. Come here. The viewers request your presence. Oh, hi. How are you? Ready for some fried hi. chicken? Hey, let's go get some fried chicken and mashed potatoes. All right, calm down. Sorry. Did you show my snowman? Oh, yeah. The heck? Is Look at this. Hunter this is very nice. Yeah, Hunter grabbed that one earlier. He's not a toy. I oh, love your decorations, he's Mom. Head. Very nice. I was just telling my viewers, look how big Fireball got. <laughs> Isn't he huge? Like this? Oh, this? That is very what nice. What the heck, David? David! That's very evil of you, Mom. <laughs> You've been here 10 minutes? Be vile. I've been here for at least an hour now. People I'll just tell my viewers that. that. Okay. Be vile. <laughs> There's really nothing um, in the bottom left. Wait, no, but <laughs> that just happened to me, too. <laughs> it's. I don't know why. Yeah, it's very, oh. very uh, sensitive. It's this. It's this. I really can't think of anything else to turn, like, I mean, from, from believe. I like be vile. Evil beer. Evil be beer. evil. Be That's evil. it. Be evil. Do you want it? But then the lowercase e doesn't look right. <laughs> be vile. Because <laughs> it still looks good. A, 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 an uppercase V. People? What is the definition of vile? Vile seed, like nasty. I say nasty. What is the definition of vile? I say nasty. Okay, give me a moment. Like you were made from dad's oh, vile seed. Of vile. The first one is morally reprehensible. <laughs> I said you were made. What does reprehensible mean? <laughs> what? The definition of reprehensible is bringing or deserving severe rebuke or censure. I said you came from that Why does she have? <laughs> why does she have to give me definitions with big words? I said you came from. What that... does rebuke mean? I know. You don't know what file means. Look. How you know what rebuke means? From two definitions of rebuke, the first one is an act or expression of criticism and censure. What does censure mean? Checking on that. From three definitions of censure, the first one is harsh criticism or disapproval. What does criticism mean? Stop. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Did you show my painting? I'm itchy. Did you show my painting? Check out Mom's bush. <laughs> Very nice. No, seriously though, Mom? Well, first of all, that tree is thick AF. But this is better than anything I ever painted. And look at that. Mom's yeah. official signature DD14. <laughs> so if you want to buy this painting, I believe mom is doing yep. replicas on Etsy. Put a no. <laughs> You can put a bid in for this one original. By the way, by the way, your video is almost done. Oh, thank you. Are they going to I know I'm taking a while. There's one original. Put a bid in. Yes. You could own Wawa Mama's first painting. How cool would that be? That, that is true. Doesn't anybody want to own Wawa Mama's first painting? Bidding starts at just $500. Nope, a dollar. A dollar? Yep. Don't sell yourself short. Did you tell Mr. and Mrs. Claus are back? <gasps> I will have fun with them later. <laughs> of course you will. Dad thinks my balls are ghetto. Do you think they're ghetto? G-hetto, first of all. 
No, they're fine. Thank you. I like them. That's G head out. True. Best Amish market trip ever. Yes. We met some nice people. I sold two slices of pie to a lady. Yep. <laughs> Salesman. I marketed that shite. He got into a grammatic, grammatical conversation with yes. the owner of the store. And she completely agreed with me because there was a sign that said, I Googled myself and found nothing. And the word Googled was not capitalized, which is grammatically <gasps> correct. But There's I don't. It's been an epic explosion. Uh oh. I don't agree with the dictionary. You should capitalize the word Google, even if you're using it as a verb. But you just said you don't. No, you, no, technically you shouldn't. No, I do. I ah. do. Because the verb Google wouldn't exist without the brand name Google. True. So I always capitalize it, even if it is not grammatically correct. But anyway, the lady in there, I was getting all excited. He was stuttering. I, was, I wasn't stu <laughs> I trip you were over, stuttering. I trip over my own words when I get excited. He was right like, yeah. Back I was like, blah, 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 blah. and then we started just to talk by the best. pies. Yes, good times. And I asked if it was night good time. Good times, mom. Night time, they're only dollar Boom. fifty, and she said, "Yup, it's night time." All right, so let's eat, and then I'll show you guys everything else we got because we actually bought a lot of stuff. Yeah, we did. First up, wings. Tell them they're custom made. And mashed potatoes. Yes, those uh, were regular wings, but they were out of buffalo wings, so. Well, they were making some in 10 minutes. She tossed them in the leftover buffalo sauce for us. She tossed them like it's hot. Look at that depth of field in my arm. Your car is not vlog friendly. You're not vlog friendly. I'm very vlog friendly. Cheers! Oh my God. You are so gonna wear that. Did you fart? No. Mm. Before you get all goopy. Let's get napkins. <laughs> my lip, I blotted my lipstick the other day. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it messy? Let me see. Yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> are you okay? They're not as soggy because, it ha mm. because they haven't been sitting as long, mm -hmm. which is good. Oh, God. Oh, my God. They're very good. Oh, yeah. I don't think people want to see us eat wings. They do. And they don't. Fast forward, yo. Mm. Why don't you update the viewers on your life? It's been a little while. Well, I had another child. You Her, did? My name is Abigail. Mm -hmm. Two weeks old today. Psych. What I like to do is dip the hot sauce. David, no, I don't need to be perverted or anything, but we are fogging up my windows. My entire house fogged up the other night because I was making pasta. Dave, yeah, you come a long way in that kitchen. Since it's cold outside. Okay, who dropped mashed potatoes in there? Was that me, or did you dip it in sauce? That was me. I dipped it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't want anybody to see me eating wings. First taste. Not really, but. Jack Spicklos? I have no idea. Golden Bear Lemonade with Strawberry. Sounds banging. We got Peeps next to us. I'm gonna pop a cap. Here we go. Cheers! I feel like something else happened here. I'm gonna it. Yo! I think I've had his before. This is so good. Oh my god. Ah. Mm. That's bad. My nails are Christmassy. Look at my nails. Aren't they pretty? Yeah, thank you. Oh, keep mm. count. How many do you have? One. It's three, four, five, six, oh. seven, eight, nine, ten. I and see. she gave us all flats mm -hmm. per request. Flat wings for the win. I don't. I don't like the big ones. Mm -mm. I like flat ones. War paint. David, stop! I gotta do that, yo. Oh, that's war paint. A little better. Oh, that sucks. I don't like it. it freaks me out. Why does it freak you out? Would you rather me be in war? Exactly. I don't want to see that. Oh it's God. hot sauce. But I don't want to see you in war paint. 
Strawberry banana pineapple smoothie. Goes with, with good with cream. buffalo wings. I, I just want to drink. <laughs> Mom the, drank her spoon since he didn't see it. I put the fork in my oh, mouth. Oh, fork, whatever. So David just found this wing buried in buffalo sauce. Is it focusing? Mm-hmm. Of course it is, because Panasonic is awesome at focusing. They're white balance sauce. So first taste. Lean by in. the way, by the way, I, ew. <laughs> Excuse me. That's that's gonna be loud because you're close to the mic. My waveform is gonna be like. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, jump call because mom can't behave. Mm. Dang, that looks good. It looks like barbecue. Here we go. <laughs> Look at the windows fogging up. Perfect. <laughs> We don't have a car on because my gas is at a quarter tank. The chicken is it's too hot to tank. handle. Uh, David! Excuse me. That's disgusting. Would you rather me fart or vom? No. Careful. Shirt. <gasps> is it hot? David! Why are you doing that? No girl wants to see that all over your face. I'm pretty sure there's at least one girl. Oh my god, my skin burns. I'm sure there's at least one girl out there who would love to lick this off my face. I'm sure. If that's you. Comment below. Mm hmm. And if you want to. You put are this, everlasting disgusting. I put this on other parts of my body. You're disgusting. My forehead. Oh, okay. Pervert. David is doing a first taste. Literally. Am I? Something like around us. It's a chocolate chip cookie. That's trash. Okay. Chocolate chip cookie with whoopee cream in the middle. <laughs> whoopee! <laughs> it's just funny how you whoopee. <laughs> Little Christmas sprinkles. Don't they cute? It is cute. Ready? First taste. Feed me! No, just kidding. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> you knocked out my crown. Don't do that! <laughs> That's really not funny, Mom. I am so close to cutting this clip. It's, it's all over me. It's a cookie. I'm sorry. I'll let you stop. Bite. I'll let you bite into it. You hear the right stuff to me, people? Talk to him. Woman, I smack you around all the time. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it's usually a hoagie. Nothing like you. Oh. <laughs> Too much cream. It's so big. That will be cream. It's the best cream. Whoopie. Nobody makes a whoopee like this whoopee. Amish market. I tried lots of whoopies. <laughs> whoopee in, cushions? In Lancaster. What does whoopee mean? Can you show them what you did to my car? It's a thing of potatoes. Continue. This is so good. Mm. Oh, God. oh my God. I need coffee now. Oh, next stop, Wawa. Wow, wow. Yeah, let's show them what else we got, though. Guys, really? we're just getting started. Yeah, go ahead, mother. Best whoopee ever. Play the word whoopee one more time. <laughs> Wait, was that technically a whoopee I just ate? Mm -hmm. It was just not chocolate. Mm -mm. I like that whoopee better. Look how perfect it looks. I know. Feel it. No, I'll put a hole in my whoopee. This is for later. Seriously, I've eaten them in Lancaster. They make the best. That's funny too, because Lancaster's Amish country. What's up with that? This is for Dave and I tonight. Me and you? Nope. I, I can take one home if you want. That's a lot of sit. Oh I my know, gosh. You're, you're, you're gonna vom. Probably. Oh. Hey, fat. And I'm probably losing subscribers by the minute. <laughs> yes! Are they Cherry like gems? cheese. Yeah, gems. I didn't know they were gems. I like an uh, AC. You know what? YOLO! Let's have one right now. And I yes, did not have one. You thought the whole stupid YOLO thing died, I just brought it back. Grab it. What is the latest thing on the internet? I, I said about a week ago and people freaked out. It's like a rap song or whatever. Oh, look at that. David, I think there's paper on. I see the paper. Okay, I'm just no, that's stupid. Can you take the paper off, Mommy? Yes. Hold on. I just didn't want to get the paper. I would normally I'll do it, but I'm, I'm one-handed right now. Just I'm technically second. handicapped right now. Technically. Oh. Okay. Oh God, David, this is a lot. I really hope it's not raining tomorrow. It's not supposed to rain tomorrow. Because we're getting our tree. Maybe. I don't think we've definitive that yet. 
That's not right. I don't think we finalized that decision yet. Just give me the cheesecake! What? There's paper! Oh, well, you're taking I'm forever! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's me. Ew, just eat that yourself. You're, you're all over it. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't you always like make these. noises. I don't want these. Cut, because mom can't behave. <laughs> I said, I said, cut. It sounded like it said something else. Cut. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Ooh. It looks like a mushroom. Like I'm groaning. Thanks, Ma. Right? Look, it's like a mushroom. That's it's like toadstool. Sticky AF. Mm. Is it good? <laughs> it's all, now I'm all sticky. Oh, you're it's not fluffy, too. but it's pretty good. Mm. Speaking of fluffies, tell them what's coming up. Fluffies. New York. Week and a half, baby. New York. I can't wait for New York. Oh, crap. Where's this go? Go to the Apple stores. Um, you gonna go to Soho? So going down, ho. Heck yeah. Prince Street? I love Prince Street. You're so going down, to mm -hmm. go there. Yeah, yeah, going downtown to okay. uh, Prince Street. And, and R is right, right? Stops there. And you are. I don't know. I, I just go uptown. Yeah, I don't know. No, downtown to get there. Oh uh, yeah, whatever. Just oh yeah. Yeah, but I think the R is the only one that stops there. The others are. Oh, uh, they so. I remember saying oh, R no. is right. I just do what I do every year. It works. I am going to World Trade Center. Are you on there? Yes. I am. You better. Listen to you all stuff in your face. We have to, on, to honor oh, America. <laughs> okay, David. To honor America. We have to honor come. America and not talk with that cheesecake in your mouth. Okay. Yeah, we get it off. Want some cream? Like it. We are the stereotypical nasty Americans <laughs> that people outside of our country make fun of. I think they're just jealous that they don't have stuff like this in their country. Right? We are kind of pigging out. Who cares? YOLO! I was only gonna have two bites of this, I can't stop. Okay. Oh my god, that was a good cheesecake. Uh -huh. I have like nine more to get through. Or how, how many of there are in there? I don't know. More than that. Yeah. I think there's 12. So you have 11. I'll just get some to Maui. Not really. See you guys at Wawa. Wait, no, that's not it. Guys, we're still going here. This is going to be a long vlog. Hopefully you don't mind all this eating and whatever. Hey, I think it's interesting. Oh. Well, I tried to buy this, but mom literally threw the money in front of me. Can you take that off? Oh, no, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Apple cider. I don't homemade. think mom's ever had apple, yeah, homemade apple cider. Mm -mm. I don't think mom's ever had apple cider. I have not. You know what's interesting about this? I have a memory. Oh, look where it was made. Bird in hand. Oh, cool. Is that where your bakery is? Yep. Oh, the Told pretzels? You Amish made, yeah. Is where that you where I dropped my lemonade? Yep. Shout out the Bird in hand PA. That is so cool. That is cool. It's made where we go for a vacation or whatever. We live in an awesome part of the US. Although there's there's other parts of Amish country, right? For like, you know, Ohio. America. Ohio. Yeah, I think um I think Ohio's a big bigger Amish. It's community. a lot of fields there, isn't it? Like a They're lot like of Lancaster. Easy the cream of Amish chin. <laughs> <laughs> but now there's other Amish communities. We just happen to live an hour from one, which is nice. Jersey's a great state. We're by everything. New York, Philly, Delaware, tax-free shopping, Amish potatoes, country, Lancaster, like PA, Sheets Territory, Wawa. Let's do something crazy. And let's we go, get all let's, four seasons. Let's go to Sheets when it opens. We should. It's only an hour away. Only. By the time we get back, our food's cold. Put the, put the, put the. Just kidding. Obviously, I'd eat it in the car. Why are you talking like a minion? <laughs> hey, Smoke. How are you? You're so cute. I know, red light kills. Agreed. I love this song. It's me. Oh my god, David, you're so off key. Christmas. Everywhere you go. Makes me think of Home Alone. Isn't this when he comes out? He's like, your very own cheese pizza. When he gets in the limo. 
Yeah. Yeah. Your very own cheese, cheese pizza. pizza. So we just finished. By we, Mom and I, excellent reviewer. You're good. You are. Thank you. It felt like a freaking infomercial. It was so good. Thank you. We just reviewed <laughs> all these candles. Look at them all. And that cat. Smoke a dope. Look at this. Shout out to King's Outlet in Lancaster, PA. Actually, not technically Lancaster, PA. Where is it again? Rorks? Ronks? Which is right where... Runkle? That's where um the caboose is. The red caboose. Oh, where, stayed at where I stayed with Tiff. Chris and Steph. Yeah. Then we peeked honeymoon. out on sheets. Hey, they invited me. I know! And it was, it was, it was just one night of their honeymoon. That was fun. And it, was, it wasn't a real honeymoon. I know. Real honeymoon's in Vegas. Baby. Vegas, yo! Sully? Sully? Sully! <laughs> <laughs> what?! I know, poop in the air, but why did you say it three times? <laughs> I, I say a lot of things that I can't put in video. I'm a bad boy. I need to be spanked. But yes, the candle review was excellent. I even included some B-roll of kingsalad.com. So shout out to my Amish friend, Anita King. You were awesome. Yes. Thanks for hooking us up. I, I have Amish connections now. It doesn't get more serious than that. I have connections in Amish country. Yeah, That's do. cool. Besides Uncle Jody. But I don't think Uncle Jody's Amish. Is she? Uncle Jody? Yeah. No. Confirmed. Guys, I need coffee. <laughs> I'm laughing at something else. It turns out I will be here for a little while because I think Dad wants to do Pats for dinner. Which blows my freaking mind. I love Pats. And... I think Dad wants to watch Godzilla. I am so hyped about Godzilla, even though I just saw it a couple days ago. Oh! You still rolling? I'm hyper. Do you want to do my countdown video with me? Yes, I countdown said Countdown to 2014 Day I 6? I said that! I said that. No, I said it before. Well, let's do that. Well, we were gone, I said let's do a countdown now. That's all she does is talk. Good. Just kidding. I love you, Mom. I love you. See, all is well. There you have it. Countdown to Christmas 2014, day six is now uploading. Thank you for being a part of it, Mom. And thank you for destroying my fruit stand and rebuilding it. I don't think that's how it was, was it? That looks better than what we did on video, though. I like that. But I don't see I think we're missing it. I don't know piece. what those are on the... No, they only gave us three because you're supposed to use two, and one of those whites is a leftover uh, spare you piece. like this on the end? I don't know why it's at an angle. Like if you if you look at the calendar, let me get it from down here. I don't want to knock my coffee this, over. This is look, me. see? I don't know why it looks like that. The white on top? I don't get that either. Doesn't make sense. Looks like it's just laying there. People are Lego or, or on crack or something. And why do I have this? Look. Where's this go? Christmas day. Ow, I'm an idiot. This is the top. You're not an idiot, mother. Oh, I'm an idiot. You're human, just like the rest of us. We all make mistakes. There you go. I don't understand why it's like... The lighting's actually pretty sweet. I'm using an LED light that my dad has. We use that during the candle review. It worked pretty well, as you can see. Very well lit. A little too lit for candles, but that's why I threw in some B-roll. I don't understand why they just... Some ba roll Some ba roll ba roll Why did they just sit there? Let me bust out my MacBook Pro, update yes. my healthcare, and do your Snapfish thing. I almost said Snapchat. I'm stuck so, in here, Nate. time to get some work done on a Saturday. I like it, though. I'm stuck. It ain't work to me. I'm stuck. You're really stuck? Yeah. Here we go, guys. Entertainment for the next five minutes. Oh, really? Shut up. Come on. Who's that? Stuck. Who's that? It's you. God, I'm such a dork. Merry Christmas. Oh, Baby, Kristen looks so, terrified. so obnoxious in Thanksgiving 2016. Oh, that's very funny. By the way, Dad. Yeah. Turn around real quick. Danced. How are you? I am good. I don't think we've seen you in this video yet. Turn around. I'm working. You ain't working. Really? You're putting a picture in a frame. What are you doing? It's okay. Here, I'll come around to you. Hey, what are you doing down here? Say hello to all your sexy female fans. Hello. You are a dilf, Dad. People out there want to hit that. Look. <laughs> Here's what I did. Yeah, I got Show it off. I took away the mechanical control for the heater. Now I have a digital one here. That's accurate. Why the heck 
would you decide to do these things? I bought the parts a year ago. I'm probably gonna have to do it. Nice. Very nice. It just kicked on. What's up? That's nice calm down. I like that. Dad, your TV yeah. right here is nice. Nobody noticed I moved the monitor down? That Pandora oh, interface yeah. is they sexy. It's monitor. got that gloss thing going on. Oh yeah, nice and lower. Like you. Very cool. And Dude, Dad's honest. dual monitor. That's so last year. You gotta go triple. Come on, Heat. Come on. Come on. Do it. Go triple. I am done. He's got Do four. it. No, I know. Technically, he's got a quad set up. It's pretty cool. David Vamp was gonna like that. David Vamp loves it down here. I know. Great. Let's and here are that. Dad's lights. Yeah. Set the mood. Very nice. This is my favorite part. This ball. That's so awesome. I like that. It's actually what? I like this. Oh yeah. This actually makes me think of the New Year's ball, doesn't it? I like that. Lancaster, PA. Balls. We just spent. Hell was ball from me. We just spent so much time in Photoshop. It was a. It was a very basic. No, I teased it on the way. It was a very but don't basic. Tell him what it is. I won't. I told oh, him it's Christmas card. card. I told him it's an illustration. Okay. That's the that's the most I said. Because I kind of mocked you. Gemma. I said, Gemma? yeah. Mom, mom texted me saying, don't leak this information. I'm like, what are we Apple? But yeah. It's awesome. I'm excited. It's so high res and Snapchat has very Snapchat? specific. <laughs> did I? I do it again. I did it again. Snap. Fish. I almost said snap cash, which is a thing now. Snapfish has very specific dimensions, so we had to keep increasing the canvas size. So overall, I increased it by about like a thousand pixels. Shake. High five. Good boy, Hunter. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy, Hunter. Yay! Hunter's so smart. We it was saw, all luck. You saw Wizard Ashley <laughs> Buster and meet me in a video. I know. Talk about the pressing. It's like the pet cemetery. Buster was so cute, he had his line cut. And we had to get a hole in our ceiling. G head out. We, just had we the did. Gives a leak. Remember the leak in the kitchen? Washer and dryer oh, yeah. piping was done. And we had a big hole in the ceiling. Yeah, so if you want to watch that later, Dad, you can. What is this? Real to real player. Is it fake? It's not fake. Just kidding. Real. Get it real? It was a <laughs> stupid joke. Very, very stupid joke. It was. Love it. Best audio ever. What are we getting from Pat's? I don't we need to order it now before they close. I'm hungry. Go upstairs. Go upstairs. Come on. You're whacking me in the face. Isn't this great? Yeah, Come on, peasant. Really? Hunter! You're bad! Oh, upstairs. Go. Well, you just worked up an appetite. I know. We were just playing. F ball. Getting so plumpy. F ball's losing his balls this week. Yeah, he's getting snipped. Snippity snip snip. So get it in while you can. Oh, baby, where is he? Right there behind you. Mr. Pants is like, let's eat dinner, and I agree. Hunter, I was gonna eat the cat food again. Never mind. He's good. Mom, mom, mom. Mom. <sighs> I want my head back to Sully. <gasps> Sully did it? What? Oh, uh, Autumn? Hunter! <laughs> Calm down, Mom, I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm getting you ready. To, I'm, I'm getting ready to leave. And I wanted to show David Bath his wreath because Yay, David mom and dad like to copy me. I just get it. Very nice. And bow in the bottom. Huge win. And I cut it because it was getting in the way of my deer. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even trim mine. Although it is bushy. I, I might have to trim a little bit. It's bushy. fine though. It is 1230 in the morning. I did not mean to say this long, but what else is new? We ended up watching Godzilla and having Pat's Pizza. Godzilla. I cannot express my love for that movie. <laughs> it's just so freaking I good. Tell, it. Spoiler alert for the next minute, so if you want to skip ahead, I'm not going to say how the movie ends, but there's one part I really, really appreciate. Well, I, I appreciate many parts, but I was telling mom and dad, there, okay, here we go. Work. Spoiler coming up. When the male delivers the bombs to the female and they rub next for like two seconds, 
That shows that even monsters have feelings. Wait, why did he deliver the bomb? I fell asleep. Because they kind of feed off radiation. Oh, that's right. And she 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 had her babies and you know radiation, oh. Bro, all that good stuff. The eventually, yeah. Awesome movie though, and I really love that airport scene when one plane blows up, then the next plane blows up, the next plane, and the camera is slowly panning with all the people looking out the window. Excellent freaking presentation. And then the camera pans up outside, it goes silent for two seconds, and, and then Godzilla lets out his, his first roar of the movie. Can I put my house back together? I, I was telling mom and dad, I should, I should have went in the film, because I appreciate like the littlest details in movies. I honestly think I see things that other people don't. I think so too. Like, I, I don't think you appreciate things like that, do you? you? For that. No. Like, no. I love I that. I don't know. I'm a total sucker for when things just go quiet in movies and then things just happen. You know what I'm a sucker for? Uh, sleeping? Bed. I hate sleeping. <laughs> no, I love sleeping. I hate going to sleep. Uh, last night I went to bed around 5. I really don't want to kick you out, but um, I'm going to bed. But yeah, Godzilla. Oh, you're so lucky. I love that movie. So I'm not lucky. I, I might just buy it tonight on Amazon. You're lucky. I didn't even ask for it for Christmas. I forgot. I, I should have asked for it for Christmas. I don't know why I didn't. You're lucky. But Christmas has come and gone, so I might just buy it. No, Christmas just is kidding. not come and gone. Santa. It says Santa for now, but actually I'll change it to Santa next time. Come here, Mother. I'm good, dark. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jazz. You all right? Love you. Thanks Mwah. for the Christmas party. Thank you for a very fun day. You guys are gonna love Seriously. our Christmas party. Seriously, wait, it's such an awesome day. Oh, Once it goes and out, that, I'll put it on Facebook. And that scene by the Golden Gate Bridge where the camera zooms out, it's practically grayscale, and they're showing Godzilla just standing in the bay. You can clearly see a sense of scale, even though you're miles away from him. Excellent presentation. I cannot express enough. Yeah, I, yeah, I returned it. It was Redbox. I might just take this. Oh, can I? Can I take this home? Yeah. And rip the DVD? Yeah. It's well, settingly illegal, but I don't... I don't, think I don't... You should put that on camera. No, I do not agree with that rule. If you own a DVD, you can do what you want with it, as long as you're not reselling it. Well, there's fur flying everywhere and dust. <coughs> I'm trying to get this. But if you have not seen Godzilla, watch it. You'll most likely enjoy it. A lot of people hated it. I loved it, personally. It's so much better than the 1998 version, because the whole monster versus monster thing. Godzilla's the good guy. He's the savior of the city. Okay, good night, people. Great movie. Love ya. So, <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm sure it's all. I'm sure it's like the first initial. Well, it's only my second watch. Eventually, it'll calm down. Ooh, Just sorry, kidding. Fireball. All right, good night. Thanks Bye. for helping me with the cards. I'll see you guys at home. Peace. Look at this mess. I know. Okay, a little bush. <laughs> Bye, Jamion. I love you so much. I actually don't think I showed you much on camera this weekend. I'm sorry. I apologize. We have some harsh light on your face right now, but that's okay. You're still beautiful. You're beautiful, Jamil. Jamil! We watched a video of Jasmine as a youngin. We did. Her face was completely black. <laughs> and if you guys are curious, just go back to no, white and gray. Thanksgiving 2006, right? Yeah. I look like crap. I need this for Christmas. And then afterwards, I can retire. Look. Oh, no, hold up. I think I made a decision. Well, first nukes. of all, I thought I was like, <laughs> it, looks, it looks nuclear. <laughs> it's, the box is glowing. <laughs> That's not cool, Mom. Anyway, I think, well, first of all, I thought I was leaving. Second of all, I think I made a decision. Yes. You're leaving? With any Amazon gift cards I get, for Christmas, uh -huh. I'm gonna put him towards a new camcorder and buy myself a new camera. Oh, God. Cause I want the Canon Vixia HFG20, oh, I think. Jesus, here we go. And guess how much it is? 1200. 900. Oh, that's not The big. G30 is like 12, 1300. Thing is, I put a camera on my Santa wish list. I looked everywhere for on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, whatever, all that stuff online. Uh -huh. Camcorders, they simply do not go on sale. Weird. I don't know what it is. I guess companies don't like selling camcorders at cheaper prices. Can't you get one? Or at least, at least Canon doesn't. Can't what? you get one? Um, I did a while ago. But then someone tweeted me or commented on a, on a video saying that Canon's not really known to get back to people. In other words, I mean well, nothing. that's rude. Very rude. Nah, I'm just gonna have to get it. I'm still like this small compared to people out there like TechCrunch, 
techno buffalo and whatever. But that's even more reason. When but that's okay. That's even more. At least I'm on the scale. What? People that are big don't need one. That's even more reason to give you one. Give you a chance. I'm to telling die. you, the same kind of exposure that I've given GoPro, because they just expect it in an unboxing and a review. But I've done so many vlogs now, and that's technically exposure for them without even trying, because I'm doing a video as it is. I don't even have to say it's really the GoPro. People kind of just know. What is I, that? I thought I was leaving, Mom. What Bye, is like, that? Peace, what it is. What is Fireball playing? Power Rangers! And... Boom. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff to put away. Awesome, awesome time today with the family. I had such a great time. And a very productive day in terms of doing a little bit of Photoshop work for my mom. Getting my health care renewal done for 2015. Um, getting my review for the Kindles uh, recorded, getting my countdown to Christmas 2014 day 6 recorded and uploaded, and watching Godzilla with the family. Yeah, I consider that productive because I really want to turn people into that kind of presentation. I'm not going to talk about it anymore, don't worry. I, I'm just a big fan of that movie. And even more good news, I just got an email back from LeapTrade.com. You may have heard of it. It's, it's like a video game trading community. Think like 99gamers.com, but I think even bigger. I believe Leap Trade is like the service that people generally go to. And I don't really work with 99gamers.com anymore. I don't know why. I emailed them, they stopped responding. Oh well, that's okay. I picked up another partnership with uh, Leap Trade. So that's cool. So expect uh, monthly video game hauls sponsored by Leap Trade soon. So that's a win win scenario for everyone. So stay tuned for that. Well, I have a lot of food to eat, a lot of desserts, and of course I got a lot of coffee. So let me take care of this, and we'll see where the night brings me because it's already 1:15 a.m. I might watch Netflix, HBO Go, or play Injustice for a while. We'll see. I'm not going to bed anytime soon now. That's for sure. It's too early for me. 1:15. Come on. I don't usually go to bed until at least three or four in the weekends. In the weekdays. Well, that was fun while it lasted. I was gonna play um, Injustice, like I said earlier, but, but then Alfred texted me saying that he wants to play Halo, so we got a few good matches in. Now I can't even do any matchmaking at all. Why is Halo Master Chief Collection still such a freaking mess? This game came out a month ago and it's still just terrible. The single player is great. Custom games work here and there, but matchmaking? Why? I just want to play a simple freaking match. Three, four, three. Oh, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know. It's bad. It's really bad. And it's such a shame because this game has so much freaking potential. That's okay. Xbox, turn off. Yes. I guess I'll play Injustice. But hey, at least we got a few matches in with Alfred and his friend. So, like I said, it was fun while it lasted. It's better than nothing. Get him outside. I'm not leaving. Just go. Zoom out here, David. Oh my god. I freaking love this game. I really do. It's 4.41 in the morning. I'm still in my regular clothes, ex except for my PJs. Uh, my contacts are still in, so my eyes are probably like bloodshot. Yeah, my god. Why do I do this to myself? Because I hate going to sleep. I love sleeping, but I hate going to sleep. All right, David, pull yourself away. Eve all day tomorrow, because I don't think I'm going to my parents' house tomorrow. I don't think we're getting the tree. Hopefully we're doing it next week, because honestly, I really don't feel like going to their house again tomorrow, because I'm going to be there Monday nights and work with my dad Tuesday. So I don't want to be there three days in a row. I want to kind of have a full day um, to myself here tomorrow, just to relax, watch movies. Anchorman 2 is on Netflix now. So I'll watch that tomorrow, technically later today. Anyway guys, I'm going to brush my teeth and go to bed. Watch an episode of The Office. Good night. See you in the morning. Show me the coffee. 
especially considering it's almost 1 p.m. But you got to keep in mind, I was up till 5.30 last night playing Injustice. Actually, yeah, I was up till 5.30. It's, I think I signed off on the vlog around like 4.50, 5 o'clock. But then I got sucked into a few more matches. I wanted to win an online match to get a trophy. I customized my player card, my hero card, I think they call it, or I don't know, something like that. So I, you know, got another trophy from that. I'm kind of a trophy whore when it comes to PS4. Which is funny, because I used to never, ever care about trophies on the PS3. Because I'm telling you, though, PS4, I have done a complete 180 with with my thoughts on the PlayStation brand. Because I was a huge fan of the PlayStation 1 the PlayStation 2. PlayStation 3, I never really played much because I wasn't a big fan of the cross-media bar interface or whatever it was called, and the DualShock 3, especially with the 360. But now... I'm loving my PS4. I am. Do you guys care? I don't know. I'm just praising Sony because they've done a kick-ass job. Anyway, um, I'm actually going to wrap up this vlog pretty soon because I vlogged a lot on Friday and a lot yesterday on Saturday. So I kind of just want to chill today and edit this vlog early so I have my night to enjoy because hopefully I'll get some more games in with Alfred tonight because that was a lot of fun. Oh, and tonight's or today's main goal is to run an Ethernet cable from my Xbox One through my basement to my airport extreme because I'm having Wi-Fi issues. Yes, I play multiplayer and Wi-Fi. I've never really had any serious issues. My Xbox 360 always worked fine. My PS4 works fine. Voice chat works fine. Xbox One works fine for the most part, but for some reason I can't hear people or talk to people in party chat or voice chat in general. And I looked it up and apparently the major fix as of this video is to hardwire your Xbox One into your network and not use Wi-Fi. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not sure why. Multiplier works fine for the most part despite, you know, all the Halo problems going on. But for some reason, voice chat doesn't work. So does that happen to you? And yes, I tried using, I tried changing my DNS servers to Google's DNS servers which helped a little bit. My NAT type is back to open. Before, it said my NAT type was strict. But before that, it said open. But I just now saw strict for the first time last night. But then when I changed to Google's DNS, it went back to open. So that's a good sign. And now I just got to hardwire my Xbox One. Now I think I'm going to make myself some brown and stir sausage. I love this stuff. Toys in every store. Ah. Enjoying my sausage in the sunroom, Christmas music on the speaker that I reviewed a while back, but I haven't used it in quite a while. But I have a Bluetooth speaker in like every room in my house for this reason. So I don't have to move speakers around. I can just sync it to my iPhone or iPad. I love it. And it's actually warm in here because the sun, the sun did a nice job of heating it up. Thank you, sun. Countdown to Christmas, 2014, day seven. David DeFranco here, DavidDeFranco.com, and I'm vlogging this. What up, peeps? Yeah, right there. Say hello, everyone. Not that this is live, but still, just trying to mix things up a bit. Let's do this. There you go. Huge success. Countdown to Christmas, 2014, day seven is currently uploading. And speaking of in that video, I mentioned, for whatever reason you don't watch that video, I'm going to mention it here too. I mentioned um, in that video that if you want to participate in my YouTube holiday collaboration video, just use the link right below. You no longer have to use my email newsletter because that way I know I'm reaching more people and um, I want as many people involved in this as possible. Just please be very careful to follow the video guidelines. For instance, your video has to be widescreen, it cannot be portrait. It has to be at least 720p resolution, and, and uh, you definitely cannot add music in the background. So I'm having trouble talking. Coffee destroys my throat. But anyway, if you do want to participate, just use the link right below, and I look forward to seeing your clip. Thank you, thank you. Here comes a Maui. Hey, Mau. I actually woke up kind of mad at you this morning. Bad kitty. So I found him behind my TV, scratching at my blinds, and now there are several holes in my nice blinds, which means I have to buy new blinds at some point. I guess that comes with cat territory, so I really can't be too mad at him. He's too cute to be mad at. But still, not cool, Maui. Not cool at all. 
Luckily, those aren't my nice, nice blinds. My nicer blinds are in my office, um, which is where I'm, which I usually am. And what, there, what, what am I trying to say, guys? What am I trying to say? It's okay, Maui. You're a good boy. You hear that squirrel making noise? Yeah, me too. You hear it? It's like rah, rah. There was just a little fat squirrel up there. I was talking to him, and he was kind of staring at me. I love squirrels. I just think they're pretty cool. They're interesting little critters, that's for sure. And they eat a lot. All right. I'm silhouetting hardcore right now, but you guys get, you know, hold on. Slight turnage, we'll fix that. Whatever, that's fine, guys. It's just an apple cider test, it's not professional. Here we go. First taste, apple cider. Not really a first taste, but first taste of this brand, I believe. Kaufman's. Pretty cool. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's good. <sighs> Apple cider just has a nice holiday taste to it. And speaking of holiday, I still have to do my first taste of Wawa coffee. Holiday blend, where is it? Right there. Holiday blend, very nice. And look Joey Image, I also have my own chopsticks. I believe I got these from Try the World. So I'll use them at some point. Just when I have sushi, I typically use my fingers. I know that goes against customs and tradition or whatever, but hey, it's what I do. It's finger food. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. And I'm gone. It's a nice speaker. Also, it's nice how the power button is more of a switch. You. It's so light too. It sounds great for its small size. All right, I'm going to go into my office finally. I don't think I'm even gonna bother opening the blinds. Guys, I mean, I'm in my freaking PJs. Today's the kind of day where I'm not leaving the house except to take the trash out. It's tomorrow's trash day. But um, oh, don't look there, don't look there, there's Christmas gifts. Don't look over there. And yeah, I'm gonna answer emails, get some work done, then probably watch Anchorman 2 on Netflix because I have not seen it yet and I've heard very good things. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up the weekend vlog very soon. Stay tuned. Doof. That's enough work done for now. Oh, that was my knee. It's Sunday, so I'm really not going to do much. But I did just finalize my partnership with LeapTrade.com, the video game trading community. So that's going to be really cool. Hopefully I can hook you guys up with some free uh, video games over time. But not right away. The partnership just started. But as it matures, maybe like by February. Anyway, guys, I'm going to eat lunch. And I'm actually going to sign off now because I want to get this vlog edited soon and... Just enjoy my night, hopefully play some Hello with Alfred. And Danny Minnick, thank you so much. Um, he said he sent me a Christmas gift. And I told him to join us for Halo if we play tonight. Because I think we used to play with Danny, right? Danny, did we play Halo with you? Like years ago? Were um, you part of the Halo crew? I'm pretty sure you were. Or am I just thinking of Halo's, Halo's, Alfred's, Alfred.TV webcasts? Because I know you were part of that because you used to call in all the time. I don't know. It's been a while since we played Halo. I know that. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Seriously, I would not be doing this if it wasn't for your support. I just, it really, really does mean the world to me. And I say the word, word really a lot. Have you noticed that? I really do. And my voice is kind of out because I talked a lot yesterday. Anyway, guys, have an awesome start to the week. And don't forget, stay tuned for my Christmas Wishes video which is going out tomorrow, Tuesday. So I'll see you then. Peace. Meanwhile, Maui is stalking squirrels. See you, Mal. Booty, 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 booty!